very good evening to you all. On behalf of my colleagues at the Tourism Division, I am extremely honored to be called on to welcome each and every one of you to the opening of this year's St. Patrick's Festival. <clears throat> the culture of a destination is at the heart of its existence, and there are many ways in which it is expressed, this festival being no exception. It is a fact that this Afro-Irish festival continues to grow thanks to the St. Patrick's Committee and many other stakeholders who work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that you and your guests are provided with a truly memorable experience. We at the Tourism Division have certainly acknowledged the value and importance of the St. Patrick's Festival, and it has become the key component in our marketing communications especially when we speak about Montserrat's rich culture. We have also partnered with the committee to host the St. Patrick's Cultural Explosion at Marine Village on March the 16th. Now in its 37th year, the St. Patrick's Festival has developed immensely with visitor arrivals increasing steadily over the years. In 2018, the destination recorded over 6,600 visitors in the month of March, by far the most active month during the year, and almost doubling the amount that came in 2017. And while some may argue that a large percentage of these arrivals are returning nationals, the economic activity generated at this time should not be underestimated. That so many of you continue to come back to Montserrat each year to celebrate this event is a testimony to its importance to you and to those of us residing on the island. As you know, what makes this event so unique is the blend between the Irish and African cultures, wonderfully expressed in the traditional foods, the freedom run and hike, the parade, the masquerade performances, the island boat tour, the ethnic clothing, and other high energy activities that are showcased each year. So it's our duty, <clears throat> it's our duty both individually and collectively to ensure that the festival remains sustainable and safe. For those of you who are on the production end, we owe it not just to ourselves but also to our visitors to ensure that the quality of the festival, including the food, service, products, or whatever we are showcasing is improved each year. So that this becomes a world-class event and a must-do on the calendar of people who travel to destinations to take part in their cultural activities. When you think about it, of all the Caribbean islands, that is the only one that can boast these two amazing factors. One, it's the only country in the region with a recognizable Irish heritage. And two, it's the only country in the Caribbean with an active volcano. And while that volcano may have covered the village of St. Patrick, it did not dampen the demonstration spirit and its ability to still celebrate its Irish heritage. There's an Irish saying that goes, if God sends you down a stony path, may he give you strong shoes. Well, this certainly shows in the resilience of Montserrat and its citizens, and it forms the basis of a sustainable tourism product. Ladies and gentlemen, I am well aware that one of the things standing between you and a lot of food, drink, and revelry tonight is me. So I will end here by inviting you to have tons of safe fun this week, and remember to use the hashtags Montserrat or Green Week when you post your photos to Facebook or Instagram. Have a happy St. Patrick's and thank you very much.